If you are in sales, then definitely you are aware about the power that certain words have. My name is Alex Balasidis. I'm an expert sales consultant and managing director of Vparagon, the sales outsourcing company that can expand and accelerate your sales in Europe. In this video, we are going to talk about the power that certain words have in sales, which ones you should definitely use and which ones you should better avoid. Keep watching. The most negative word you can use in sales is the word problem. Never use this word. Problem means either that your product is problematic or the solution that you are selling is problematic or the whole sales process is problematic. This word is a very negative word, has a very negative impact on your prospect. Instead of this word, use the words issue or the words challenge. There are three words in sales that show uncertainty and unconfidence in the product or the solution that you are selling. And those words are the words hope, perhaps, and maybe. Never use these words. Instead, use words that show confidence and belief in the product or the solution that you are selling, such as proven 100% guarantee. If you do not believe in the product that you are selling, don't sell it because you're not going to sell it. Obviously, that is a word that you should never use in sales because what is obvious to you may not be obvious to your prospect. Secondly, obviously may offend your prospect because he might assume you mean that he is stupid and he cannot understand what is obvious for you. Avoid this word. Cheap is a word that you should never use in sales. The reason why is because cheap is not only associated with price, but also with the quality of the product or the solution that you are selling. When I was a student, I was working in Germany in a um, store that was selling cigars and I was using the word cheap. So uh, the word cheap in German is billig. So I was using the word billig. So, the manager of the store came to me and he told me, Alex, don't use the word billig. Instead, use the word günstig. Günstig is an alternative word in German that applies to the price, but not to the quality of the product. In English, you can use the words affordable, inexpensive, but don't use the word cheap. Depending on the situation, avoid to use very strong words in sales. Um, let me give you an example. I often speak with my clients about uh, partnerships. We want to partner with them. The word partnership and partnering is a word that I avoid to use. The reason why is that it's a very strong word and brings a fear um, to my prospect. Um, instead, I use other words that are lighter, such as collaboration. One thing is collaboration, one thing is partnership. Maybe at the end it's the same, but partnerships sound very heavy. So avoid heavy words uh, in your sales pitch. Honestly? Yes, honestly. Honestly is a word that you should avoid in your sales pitch. Because if you use the word honestly, that implies that everything that you said until now was dishonest. Avoid the word honestly. When you are in sales, avoid uh, subjects such as religion or politics, subjects that bring tension. Avoid using slang words. Instead, use industry jargon that's very positive. And also adapt yourself to the cultural background of your prospects. I, for example, am making calls in several countries around the world. I'm calling in the UK, I'm calling in the United States, I'm also calling in Germany. Uh, while in the United States and, and in the UK, it's common to call your prospect with his first name. Hello, Jack. Uh, how are you today? That is something that is very uh, uncommon in Germany to call somebody uh, Guten Tag Hans. Uh, you don't do that. You say, uh, Guten Tag, Herr Schmidt. That's the way you address someone in Germany. So, uh, be aware of the cultural uh, background of your client 
adapt to his cultural background, respect it, and uh, do your sales approach accordingly. So what are the words that you should use in sales? Which are those powers that are going to increase the impact of your sales pitch? The number one word, the most important word that you should use in sales, it's your prospect's name. By using your prospect's name, you make the whole conversation more personal and you give gravity in what you are selling. Sales, exactly. This is the other most important word that you should know when you have your sales presentation, sales conversation, sales pitch. Always try to let this word slip when you begin talking to your prospect. I, for example, I always introduce myself. I'm Alex, I'm the sales account manager, I'm the inside sales or whatever, but there has to be the sales world inside. Because if the sales world is inside, then subconsciously your prospect knows that this talk, it's a sales talk. You put the boundaries of this, you define the boundaries of this conversation. The other magic word is because. Because it's a very strong word that every salesperson should use. And not only a salesperson, but also sales managers, leaders, and so on. The word because it's so extremely important because it backs up, it supports what you said before. If you say something, if you made your sales pitch without the reason why you are saying those things that you said, then nobody's going to take you seriously. Also, if you are a sales manager and you are trying to convince your salespeople to the new policy of the company, you have to explain to them why this new policy is there. Always use the word because when you are selling something. Results and benefit. When you are selling a product or a service, you are not selling the product and the service. You are selling the results, the benefits, and the solutions that your prospect is going to get by purchasing, by buying your product. Thank you. This is the word that I actually very seldom hear from salespeople. When your client goes your way or he doesn't go your way, it doesn't matter, always say thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, deciding for our solution. Thank you for your time. It's a magic word, believe me. Download on the link below the analytical PDF with all the words that you should use or not use in sales. Also comment below and let me know which are the words that you use or you don't use when you make your sales pitch. Thank you very much. This is Alex Valacidis from V Paragon.